override for virtual functions. Say we have a class dog and dog has a virtual function A and a virtual function B. Yellow dog is derived from dog and in yellow dog I want to override the function A and B of dog. But I accidentally give A a different parameter, a float, and I accidentally lost the const keyword for function B. In both cases, um, both A function A and B will not override the dog's A and B. They'll become functions of their own. This is really bad because during the runtime, when you expect the polymorphism to happen, it doesn't. C++11 gives you a new keyword override, which allows you to specifically tell the compiler that this function is an override function of uh, its base class. And uh, if the function has a different signature from the base function, um, it, compiler will error out. So both function A and B will error out. Function C will also error out because it's not a virtual function at all. Keyword final for virtual function and for class. By making a class doc final, it means no, no class can be derived from doc anymore. Similarly, by making doc's virtual function bug a final virtual function, it means no child of doc can override the bug function. Number 11. The compiler will generate a default constructor for you if you haven't defined any constructor at all. In this case, since I've already defined a constructor that takes an integer for dog, uh, the compiler will not generate a default constructor for me. So when I try to create a dog d1 without any parameter, it will error out because the compiler cannot find a default constructor. C++11 allows me to uh, force the compiler to generate a default constructor, even I've already defined any other constructor. This could come in handy uh, sometime uh, if the compiler generated default constructor is exactly what you want. Keyword delete is for deleting functions. For example, uh, my class dog has a constructor which takes a integer parameter. So when I do dog a2, it will work. Doc B 3.0, it will also work because 3.0 can be converted from double to integer. A equal B, it will work too because the compiler generates a assignment operator for me. Sometimes you want to disallow your client to use your interface in a certain way. In this case, say I only want my client to create a dog with an integer. I don't want them to pass over a parameter of float or double. And I don't want them to make a copy of the dog, maybe because the dog is holding some unshareable resource like mutex. C++11 provides an easy way to do that. I can simply define the dog double equal to delete and dot op operate equal equal to delete. As a result, both lines of code will generate compile time error because these two functions has been deleted. The keyword const explorer. This is creating a six item array. Say I have a function a which returns a constant three. This is equivalent of creating a six item array but it will not compile because the compiler doesn't know that the function a will always return a constant. C++11 provides a keyword const explorer which tells the compiler that the function a will always return a constant. So the compiler will compute the function during the compile time. As a result, I can create an array, six item array like this. The const expression sometimes can help you to write fast function. For example, uh, I have a function cubed, which computes the x cubed. 
If I know that the cube function will be always working with a constant parameter, I can add a const express in front of it. As a result, when the cubed function is used, the result of this function will be computed at compile time. In other words, this, this function will not consume any cycles during the runtime. How fast is that? New string literals. This is usually how you define a string literal in C++03. C++11 provides a better support for Unicode. For example, this defines a UTF-8 string. UTF-16 string is identified by lowercase u. UTF-32 string is identified by a uppercase u. There are also new types, char16 type and char32 type. You could also define a raw string. In this string example, the slash slash will be interpreted as two slashes instead of one slash, because the first slash is not seen as a escape character anymore because of the uh, raw string identifier. Lambda function, love it or hate it, it's there in C++11. Lambda function basically is an anonymous function. You can think of it as a function that is not defined as a regular function. This lambda function takes two parameters x, y and returns the sum of x, y. 3 and 4 are passed as parameter to the lambda function. So the output of this code is 7. You can also save the lambda function to a variable f and invoke the function with f. Lambda function is very useful in functional programming. For example, I have a function filter which takes a parameter of uh, function f and a parameter of vector array. Then I perform the function f on each item of the array. If the function returns true, I will print out the item. In the main function, I create a vector v of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then I invoke the filter function with a lambda function. This lambda function will check if x is larger than 3. And uh, this lambda function will be performed on each item of the vector v. If, if uh, the function returns true, the item will be printed out. So the output of this code is 456. Later on, I can invoke the filter again with a different lambda function. It checks if x is larger than 2 and less than 5. So the output is 3, 4. This is called functional programming. It is a completely different programming model than the traditional programming model that we are used to. Lambda function can even access local variables. Say I have a y equal to 4 and in the, inside of the lambda function I can check if x is bigger than y. All I need to do is add the reference sign inside the square brackets which tells compiler that we want variable capture. So the output is 5, 6. This is a very powerful technique. Think how, can, how you can do the same kind of thing in C++03. It's very, very difficult. Congratulations! You've learned C++11 in 20 minutes. Now, before you forget everything, grab a PC and start practicing. You can download my notes from this website to help you practice. Bye-bye!